Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three whole real food healthy recipes for you and don't mistake healthy with, with not being delicious because these three recipes are a 10 out of a 10. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I do upload five videos every single week. As always, I have built all of the recipes in the free Trainist app. That is the app that I use to build recipes, scan foods, and track my food. Again, it is a free app. Who doesn't love a good free calorie tracking app? And one thing about Trainist that I love, besides how easy it is to use, how accurate it is, there are no ads. So you don't have to worry about all those ads popping up like you do with a lot of other calorie tracking apps. And if you're on a budget, free is always a good thing when it comes to apps. I will link the Trainist app in the description box for you. And again, I'll be showing you throughout the meal prep how I'm building the recipes in the app. Super, super simple. And of course, down in the description box, along with the Trainist app link, I will have my recipe website. That is where you will find all three of today's recipes. Nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I determine how many calories I need to eat every day, how much protein, fat, and carbs, and what I have done to lose 140 pounds as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, questions, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, it's free, come join us, are all down in that description box. So let's make three amazing, healthy, and delicious recipes. For breakfast this week, I'm making apple oatmeal bars, and then I'm going to pair this with some protein. I have those Amy Lou chicken sausages from Costco. I also have some pre-cooked bacon. So we're gonna have a delicious bar and some protein for breakfast. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need unsweetened applesauce, vanilla extract, flax meal. If you have flax seeds, just grind them up in a coffee grinder or spice grinder so that you can get a meal consistency. You'll need rolled oats, sugar-free maple syrup, salt, baking powder, cinnamon, and a medium or large apple. So the first thing I did is added two cups of my oats to my little Ninja blender here, blended them up to make oat flour. So we're going to add that to a bowl. You can also buy oat flour, whatever your preference is. I didn't have any, so I just used some of my rolled oats. And then I have an additional cup of whole oats. I'm going to add those. One teaspoon of baking powder. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm probably going to do more like a tablespoon just because I love cinnamon. And then a pinch of salt. And then mix that together. Just make sure it's combined really well. Then I'm going to add in one third cup sugar-free maple syrup, three quarters of a cup unsweetened applesauce, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then two tablespoons of my ground flax. And then mix that together. And then I'm going to add about three quarters of my chopped apple, reserve a little bit in your bowl, and then mix that in. So I sprayed an eight by eight, seven by seven, nine by nine, six by six, whatever you wanna do, baking dish with nonstick cooking spray. Then we're going to add the apple bar mixture. And then we're going to sprinkle those remaining apples on top. And I think I may add a little bit of cinnamon as well. Our bars are going into a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes or until they're cooked through. The apple oatmeal bars are done. Don't these look so good? It smells like cinnamon apples. I'm so excited. These are nice and thick. So I will go ahead, of course, and show you how to build the recipe in the Trainist app. And I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros, serving size here on the screen for you. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights For lunch this week, I'm making a chicken teriyaki bento box. So we're going to have veggies, a carb, and a protein. Let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need soy sauce. You also need rice wine vinegar. I swore I had it, so I didn't buy it and I don't have it. So I'm going to omit it, but it will be on the recipe. It will be in the recipe on my website. Definitely add it to the recipe, but I'm going to have to skip it. Soy sauce, some type of leafy green. I have baby spinach, so I'm going to use that. 
fresh ginger, ginger paste, you could even use ground ginger, sesame oil, brown sugar alternative. This is the Lakanto Golden. It's my favorite brown sugar substitute. I will link it down below. I do have a 15% off discount site-wide for Lakanto. Sesame seeds. I have some jasmine rice cooking in my little dash rice cooker. I bought this on Amazon a long time ago. I love it. I'll link it for you. It is in my Amazon store, but I did one cup of dry rice, two cups of water, whatever rice is left over, I'll just put in the fridge for Troy. And then you're going to need chicken breast, chicken tenderloin. You could even do chicken thigh, edamame, and then radishes or radicchio. I have radicchio, so I'm going to use that. So the first thing I'm going to do is brown my chicken about three minutes on each side and then I'll remove it, put it on a plate and we'll get started on the sauce. While your chicken is cooking, let's put together our sauce. So we're going to start with one tablespoon of soy sauce. About a teaspoon of fresh ginger. A teaspoon of our Lakanto Golden. And then you would also add in one tablespoon of rice vinegar and then you're going to stir that together. So I went ahead and removed my chicken, just set it on a plate, and then I'm going to add my sauce to my pan. And we're going to let it just boil, simmer a little bit until it starts to thicken. And then we're adding back in our chicken. I think I might slice it up a little bit too in the pan, but we do wanna let that chicken finish cooking completely through and your sauce will get nice and sticky. So our chicken is done. I'm going to just go ahead and set it aside while we make up the dressing for our salad. I'm going to mix it in a mason jar since I'm not going to eat these right away. I don't wanna add the dressing. It'll just make the spinach and the radicchio soggy. So I'm going to mix it up in a mason jar and then I'll just add it to my salad each day. So I'm going to start with three teaspoons of my Lakanto Golden, three quarters of a teaspoon of sesame oil, one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, And you'll also do one and a half tablespoons of rice vinegar. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of water just for some extra liquid since I don't have the rice vinegar. And then I'm just going to shake it up and just put it in my refrigerator and each day I'll just drizzle it over the salad. So to assemble the lunch, I am going to go ahead and assemble one today so I can have it for lunch. The rest of them, I'm going to just pack up the ingredients and assemble on the day that I'm eating them. Again, we don't want to add our dressing until right before we eat. And I also want to be able to warm it up so I don't want to put all my salad ingredients in there either and I'm using frozen edamame so again I'll have to warm that through so since I'm going to have this for lunch today let's go ahead and put one together and we're going to start with one third of our teriyaki chicken our recipe makes three bento boxes and I have one cup of edamame total so I'm going to divide that again evenly so about one third of the edamame and then it's three quarters cup of rice Total. So I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of rice to each bento box. And then lastly, some salad. So again, I'm going to use some spinach and radicchio. And then I'm going to add some sesame seeds right on top of everything. And there is my lunch, my little bento box. And then of course I'll add my dressing right on top before I eat it. But this looks absolutely incredible. I'm going to go ahead and package up the rest of my ingredients so that I can make these up each day and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is my completed lunch bento box. How cute is this? What a great healthy lunch. So like I said, I just kind of package everything up for the week. I have my spinach and radicchio, my edamame. I put all the rice in a bowl. Like I said, Troy will eat the leftovers and I'll just measure out a quarter cup for me. I have my chicken, my dressing, and my sesame seeds. So I'll go ahead, put all the points, calories, macros, serving size here on the screen for you. And of course, how to track and build the recipe in the trainer staff. It goes driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really want to know, really want to know For a snack this week, I am making a date bars. I've been craving dates. They're such a great, healthy food. So I'm going to make up some bars for the week. Let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need rolled oats, 
unsweetened coconut flakes. If you can go to Trader Joe's, these have the least amount of calories of other unsweetened coconut flakes, and they're really good. They're organic. Love them. So if you have a Trader Joe's near you, highly recommend. You'll also need walnuts, flax meal, coconut oil, lemon juice, baking soda, one egg, salt, and medjool dates. So to get started on our date bars, you're going to need a food processor. I actually just bought this one off of Amazon. It just came yesterday. This is from Moss and Stone. I never had a food processor. I don't know why, but I didn't. And I knew that I wanted to really incorporate dates more. And a food processor is the easiest way to smash it all up. I'll link the food processor down below for you. Super affordable. It's a three cup capacity. So it's small. doesn't take up a lot of room in your cabinet, which is kind of what I was looking for. So I'm excited to have this. So I have one and a half cups of rolled oats. I'm going to add one cup of it to my food processor. Pop on the lid and we're going to blend this down to make oat flour. Then we're going to add in six pitted dates, half of a cup of our unsweetened coconut flakes, a pinch of salt, then half of a teaspoon of baking soda. And we're going to give that another pulse. We're getting kind of full, so we might have to do this in stages. If you have a full-size food processor, you could probably do it all in one, but I think I'm going to go ahead and add in my half of a cup of walnuts and my remaining half of a cup of rolled oats. Give that a pulse, and then we'll just transfer this to a bowl to finish the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to transfer this mixture into a bowl and then back into the little Food processor pitcher, I'm going to add one egg, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and two tablespoons of flax meal. Pop the lid on and we'll process this as well. And we'll go ahead and add the wet mixture to our dry mixture. And then we're going to mix this together. This is the cookie base of our bars. We're going to add all of our cookie base except for about a half of a cup because we want to reserve that to add to the top as a crumble. And then we're just going to press this in place. I did spray my eight by eight baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray. I cleaned my food processor container. We're going to add in about 18 pitted dates, about a teaspoon of lemon juice, pinch of salt, and then we're going to put this back onto our food processor and we're going to pulse it for about five to 10 minutes. It kind of depends on how much power your food press processor has. I honestly don't know the power of this one. It seems to be pretty good, but you are periodically going to stop it and scrape down the sides with the spatula. And this is basically going to make a date paste for the date layer. Now we're going to add that date layer, that date caramel layer right on top of the crust and just spread that out evenly. And then we're going to sprinkle that remaining crust mix right on top. And it's going into our 325 degree oven for 18 minutes. So my date bars are out of the oven. Everything looks so good. I am so excited for these. What a healthy, sweet treat. Something you don't have to feel guilty about. And the dates is the only sugar and it's natural sugar. Just as a reminder, dates, I count dates as zero points. So my points for the recipe have the dates at zero. You count them as you see fit, but I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you, as well as how to build the recipe again in the train of staff. joining me for today's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing a breakfast, lunch, and snack. I will tell you that I've already tried the date bars. They're incredible. I've already tried the apple bars. They're also really good. And I'm having the bento box for lunch today. I'm expecting it to be equally as delicious. Don't forget, I will have the Trainist app at the top of the description box. It's free. Check it out. They're going to be bringing out a lot of new features throughout 2024, like checking in, also recommendations for personal trainers, and everything is free with no ads. So definitely download the app. Check 
check it out, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, my recipe website for today's recipes, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to a healthy, successful, delicious week, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.